is up guys I'm daddy gamer Friday welcome back to another Pokemon sword and shield news update video today we got a brand new shiny and yes I'm talking about shiny Gigantamax Meowth has entered Pokemon sword and shield officially you can go out to max raid dents and actually catch yourself a Gigantamax Meowth yes but also a shiny one and that's what we're gonna be going over in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to catch yourself your Meowth, I'm going to be catching my Meowth. Now, I got in Meowth. I had Pokemon Sword and Shield day one, obviously. So, I got in that Gigantamax Meowth. I even did a video on how to redeem it once the game has came out. But now, everyone, even if you got in it after that release window, you can now go into your game, update your Raid Dens, and remove Eevee, and add in Meowth, and be able to get your Gigantamax Meowth. In order to do so, it's very easy. Just go to Mystery Gift and go to get wild area news when you do this you must be connected online you don't need nintendo online services to do this all you need to do is need to be connected to the internet once you are bow you're gonna get yourself the wild area news update you take that and then meowth will be added to your wild raid den so let me just leave the crib and head over to a raid den to show you guys. So we're here at a raid den and this one should be Meowth. As you can see, our Gigantamax Meowth is right here. Five star raid, let's jump in. Don't invite others and let's just try to take this one down. Ooh boy, let's go. Oh damn, I got a bad team I think. Not shiny obviously, but again, in raids right now, you can get yourself finally this Meowth. What's pretty cool is that you can actually also get this Meowth with its hidden ability. Now do know that this event runs to June 2nd, but however, you do know if you do not update your max raid dens, you can keep this event in your game as long as you want. As long as they don't force an update, I believe, you'll be fine. I'm seeing tweets from people saying that they're receiving big nuggets and rare bones, items that you can just sell, that you can get a ton of money from. It kind of makes sense to fit with the theme of Meowth, you know, with Payday and all that. This is memorizing. Like, looking at Meowth, like, this huge is so funny, but then so dope at the same time. I'm just like, I wish I had a gigantic Meowth outside my window every day to just chill. This is so, he's so dope. Look at him. I wonder how tough is he. I mean, I'm just, right now, I'm just spamming anything. But I wonder how, am I going to actually be able to take this one out? I don't see him doing anything to my team. There we go. My team is hitting them hard. Okay, halfway done. We're not too bad. Nobody knocked out. Okay, quarter of the way through, he put up new shields. This should be it. This sh we should be able to knock this guy out real quick. Super effective, come on. Alright, I fell, I fell, so to be kissing him. Cool, broke the shield. Boom. I should have brought me out so I could do payday. Get some money from this. Woo boy, bye bye me out. Okay. So Pokeball, I'm gonna throw a. As you guys know, I always, I always do it. Always give my repeat. I love this ball the, with the black, the yellow, the red. It's dope, and it's probably the best ball you could use, especially if you already caught me out. The chances of it, I forget the number exactly, but it increases the. Okay, it ran. Me, huh? I got XP candy, large XL, Dynamax candy, Ray candy, Rare Bone, Swords Dance, Focus Energy, Sleep Talk. But no Gigantamax me up, huh? Oh shit. Okay. Ain't ain't that some? Well, now I I I already have Gigantamax me up. However, I do want a few more to add to bank and stuff like that. So I definitely will continue this hunt. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of Gigantamax Meowth. 
finally being released to the public. Released to the people who haven't gotten Pokemon Sword and Shield the first week of release. I think it was the first week, or maybe the first couple of months. I think it ended in January. If I'm not mistaken, I think Meowth, the distribution for Meowth, ended in January. So you had to get the game before January, and I don't even think you had to get to a part of the game. I think you just had to just start it and download it, because I remember at the very beginning of the game, me doing it and getting me out and having it part of my team very early on in the game. But I seen a lot of people kind of upset, saying, hey, this Pokemon should just stay exclusive to the people who got the game early. I see them giving this Gigantamax Pokemon out to all players right now and you know releasing a shiny on top of that as a way to just you know make sure everyone is at a similar playing field like all the Gigantamax Pokemon are currently or have been in a event where they were boosted and you were able to go out and catch one. Giving every player a Pokemon Sword and Shield currently if you had the game you had a chance to catch all of these Gigantamax Pokemon. The last few that were exclusive was obviously Pikachu, Eevee, and now Meowth. What's crazy now is that now that the Meowth is up, what Pokemon are we gonna get in the Max Raid Battle, you know, event style like this next? Because they gave us everything the game has to offer. Now, a lot of people are speculating that there is one, and that is a mythical Pokemon, Mel Metal. We haven't gotten Mel Metal Gigantamax form inside of the game yet as anything, with anything. And a lot of people are maybe speculating that that may be the next event that will bring us to the DLC. And once the DLC pops, there's gonna be brand new Gigantamax Pokemon then, replacing the Metal Metal, that the Metal Metal event might last, basically, until when the DLC drops. But, I don't know. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's chat it up down there. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommend it so other people can check out the video. If you're new around here, I do videos like this every day. I'm back on my grind doing Pokemon videos, doing everything that I can, basically. So, if you want to stick around for some dope shit, hit that subscribe button, join the family. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Peace. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out. So we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one